We're broadcasting live from Music City at Newsom Stadium. The moon is full and the fans are ready for a howling good time. The Lycans love carnage, so this should be a good one. Hey, Grim, what do werewolves love that vampires hate? Now, that would be steaks, Bricks. Oh, I can't believe you know it. Remember, in the MFL, we encourage you to play with your food. He's probably lining up against you. The Micro Hard Mutilators face off against the Nashville Lycans. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> Hi everyone, Grim Blitzrow with you on MFL Game Day. Hey, uh, Briggs, do you smell something burning? Ah, thanks for reminding me. I left my rubber foot in the toaster oven to warm it up. Last time I left it there too long, it came out like Saganaki. Oppa! Uh -huh. It's freezing in here. Hey, why don't you take your shampoo and ouzo? Stick your head in the toaster oven. That'll warm you up. And it's first and ten. Huh? 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 And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five on that play. Second down and five. This is your brain, and this is your brain on Berserker. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? Yeah, still working on my salami here, Briggs. Thanks. That's what she said. Didn't ah, ah, work that time. It was close, though. Yep. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. And the defense goes for the jugular and rushes to kill the quarterback. It's not how many times you fall, it's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. Yeah. Well, it wouldn't hurt either. Did somebody say cocaine? And it's first and ten. And the defense gives up five yards there. Second down and five. Third down and the punter is warming up. No, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Man, these guys have metal balls. They're going to try to pick up the first down here. Do they jingle when they run? They clank, you moron. He said balls, not bells. And a perfect strike for a first down. That's a hell of a fourth down play. First and ten. Not much there, maybe a yard. Second down and nine. 
The ground game should be their bread and butter. A gain of eight right there. Hey, anyone seen that Korean kid yet with my barbecue? Last time I ordered Korean, I got Kim Jong Il. That, my friends, was an all pro NFL hit. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And that'll bring up second and one. The defense better look out. The offense called the beat. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Actually, so he does have some turkeys getting rafted on his backside from that bad burn he had last year. <laughs> Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? And this guy couldn't hit the side of a fallout shelter. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And it's first and ten. A good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the change of score, did it? How good can it be? Second down and five. And he laterals the ball. Man, these guys like playing high risk ball. Third down and nine. When defensive players go berserk, they've been known to rip the hit. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. And he misses that extra point. Oh, well, look at clown shoes down there. Is he wearing actual clown shoes? I think so. It's probably why he missed. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And that'll be second down and four. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot. It's three yards on that run. And that'll bring up third and one. Hot one, hot two. Hot, 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 hot. Just keep pounding the ball right up the gut and you'll tire these guys out. First down. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot. 
Just some good old downhill running there as he picks up the first down. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. for the first down. First down and nine. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Eight. That's about a three-yard pickup. It's anyone's game at the end of quarter one. Second down and six. Hot one. Hey. Third down and nine. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. Hot eight. And he zips that one in there for a touchdown. Third down, and offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Oh, and the ref just bought himself one more play of life with some moves that would put some of our Hall of Famers to shame. Oh, good. That gives me time to get odds on him. Someone give me a phone. Third down, and the QB, and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Needs a miracle. Hot one, hot two, hot three. And the deep. Bam! Oh man, that's the end of his day. He might want to try hurling those traps next time. For a kick this far, you just got to kick it as hard as you can, partner. And aim. It's really important from this distance. It's probably a smart idea. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. And the quarterback throws a murder ball, which will slice its way through any defensive player trying to block it. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. First and ten. And then a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. Man about a six yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. Oh, what a brutal hit!
First down and one. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. Uh, as expected, those are pretty much just guineas. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. Man, this guy just blew up and he's on fire. I'm not talking about one of those big game fire modes. I mean, literally, he's like burning bacon down there. He could go all the way. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot three. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And it's first and ten. And into the end zone with a burst of speed. I think he's more of a donut guy than a speed thing, Grim. He's running from his demons. It's clear. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck up. That was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. Oh, this guy just loves punishing the defenders. That's a first down. And it's first and ten. Bricks, it's the two-minute warning. You know what that means? Whiskey? And it's first and ten. And he picks up eight yards on a strong run. And they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Ah, oh, nice coaching move here. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game. I won't listen to this blasphemy. With a burst of speed, he finds an opening and the first down. Well, that's two timeouts burned. And you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Grim. But it really is hard to do both at the same time. And I have mastered it. And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay him for the pick six. For this, you just give them a pat on the head and tell them they don't suck. Second down and ten. And that'll be the...
their final timeout. Third down, and the punter is warming up. And that's the way you do it. Eat up chunks of yards with pinpoint passing. The defense calls timeout. They must be trying to get on their QB's good side. Well, this kick is no guarantee. Sure it is. If he misses, he's fired. Guaranteed. Straight through the uprights. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! First and ten. Hot, hot one. Hot. He refuses to go down. Oh, nice hit. The QB saves some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Quinn? Aren't we all? Gets the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And that's it. That's the last time out. It's score or die from here out. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Quinn, what? There's no huddle. The offense calls play. Okay. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is a... That would have been a disappointing run. It's even a worse throw. Third down and three. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsanto Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where are we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? I'm going to go to a strip tease show. Where are we going? Hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So was that cheerleader. Third down and, well, good luck. Oh my gosh! The defensive player looks like he's lost his mind! Now that's just the Berserker Rage kicking it. Boom! Dead and down! You delivered the freaky fast hammer self. When you hear the sounds of bones snapping like that, Grim, you assume the worst. I assume that it was even worse than what you may have assumed. I assume you're right. Yeah. And it's first and ten. Picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of 
and gooses, I gotta, uh... <clears throat> hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. First down! I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. Running for a couple of yards. And that'll be second and eight to go. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. It's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. Second and three. First down and five. And he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Hey. Hey, Bricks, they're going for two here. No one was going to stop him. That's two points. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. Huh? Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. Ooh. Ooh. And it's first and ten. First down! And this guy is a stud, Bricks. Yeah, tell him me! Nice run! No, I mean, he's a real stud. He works at the Mutant Stud Farm weekends and summers. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five on that play. Second down and five. And the defense jumps offside. It's not how many times you fall. It's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. And it's first and ten. The defender says, I don't think so. Second down and ten. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! comes the extra point attempt. It's good. Oh. 
Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. First and ten. This guy's a brick shit house, and that'll give him four more downs to punish the defense. And you better believe they will. And it's first and ten. Point. And a well-placed cleat. Second and three. The teams have kept each other at bay for now, but there's still plenty of time to bribe refs and kill the other team's star players, so it's anyone's game, really, Bricks. Second and three. First and ten. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. for the punt here. And he put all of his foot into that one. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a dog named Snags. He got hit by a car. Oh, with a punishing hit. And it's first and ten. just exploded into flames. Now the defense has to try to tackle a running bonfire. Oh, what a brutal hit! And it's first and ten. Stepped up and blew up. 
<laughs> He's got a lot of guts, doesn't he? And you can see the ground crew cleaning him up now. Hot potato gets him every time. And it's first and ten. point attempt. Straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Close your eyes, Bricks. This is going to get ugly fast. First down. And the running game opens up for them and allows the passing game to be more of a threat. Got to keep them guessing. And it's first and ten. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. Second down and long. Oh, man, the offense called a murder ball. That's a little on the nose, don't you think? That's sort of the... And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. First down and one. Oh, he's going berserk. The ball. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. Listen to his fans howl. They love him. He came up as a teenage werewolf in the mutant farm league. Serve those runners now and consider passing more. I like this. They're going for two. Kicker. Ma, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chick wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. Picks up 10 yards on that play. Second down in inches. He is running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. They quickly call a timeout, hoping to save some time for their offense. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. Hot. Oh, with the brain scrambler. 
Man, this ref is definitely on the take. That was a bogus penalty. First down and long, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. First down in a mile. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Oh, with the brutal hit. The defense calls a second timeout. They really need to make a stop here. Second down and seven. Hot, hot one, hot two. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents. And that's the last time out. The D has to either break the clock or the offense if they want to win. Hey, as long as something gets broke, right? Third down and six. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. Four yards on that one. And he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. The punter for today is being played by my kid's sister. Or at least it seems like it. And he just lets that one go. He says, no, thank you. And the defense downs it. to try to conserve time. And he picks up two yards on the catch. And that'll be second and eight to go. Now the QB is dinking and dunking the defense to sleep. <laughs> One yard on that pass. Third down and six. That's a catch for a one-yard gain. That's not going to do it, fellas. And that'll be a walk at home for the Nashville Lycan. That's got to hurt. Well, Grim, it doesn't have to hurt. They can choose to view this as a teachable moment. Hey, why don't you stop reading self-help books? You're helpless. They battled hard, but didn't have enough to get it done. They choked like a bunch of banana choking chimp chumps choking on a bag of chimp dicks. Did you just say choking on a bag of chimp dicks? Yeah. God, that was beautiful. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhard Corporation. They get it right every up.